everyone, welcome to our next home workout video. As you can see, I'm now filming these videos from my house as well. So before we start today's workout, I just want to remind you of a couple of things. First off, have a look around you. Make sure you've got plenty of space and nothing that you're going to bump into or knock over when we're doing our gymnastics workout. Okay, you can see I've got lots of space where I can spin my arms side to side without bumping into anything. All right, next, I want you to wave to mum or dad. Give them a big wave, give them a smile. Make sure that mum or dad or another grown up in your house is ready watching you do your home gymnastics workout, okay? It's very important that we have our adult supervision while we're doing our gymnastics training. All right, next one, have a look at the ground underneath your feet. All right, if the ground underneath you is really hard, you might want to pause the video and go pop some runners on your feet. All right, your runners will help support your ankles and your knees and make sure that you're not being too heavy on the ground when we're doing our running and jumping activities. All right, so three things to check off your list. Make sure you've got lots of space, make sure mom or dad is watching and make sure you've got something soft and supportive underneath your feet. When you've got that all ready, we're ready to start our workout. Hi everyone, I hope you've been enjoying your home gymnastics workout so far. We've all done a bit of a warm up now, so you should be feeling nice and warm, ready to get into some more gymnastics. This week we're going to do something a little bit different. We're all going to learn a bit of a dance routine. So you're going to see if you can follow along with me, be in time with the music, and we'll see if we can learn our little dance routine. Make sure you film yourself, put it up on the social media, on our Facebook or Instagram, Tag Casey Gymnastics and let's see how we go. Everyone get ready to follow me. dance warm-up. All right, for today's workout, you are going to need a book and a roll of toilet paper. All right, so I'll give you a couple of seconds to pause the video, make sure you've got these two things ready to go for our workout today. Also, make sure you've got a drink bottle handy in case you need to grab, grab a quick drink of water during the workout. All right, are we ready to go? Awesome. Today we're going to do some balance challenges. Okay, so we're going to be doing some different activities that you can try with mum or dad or your brothers and sisters at home and have a go see who can balance for the longest. For the first one, you're going to need your book. 
All right, we're going to balance the book on our head. Be your presentation arms out like a nice gymnast. And see if you can walk forwards. And maybe even backwards on your toes. And keep the book balancing on your head. Don't let it fall. If you really want a challenge, you can even try turning around. All right, good work. See if you can do it with your arms down now. Walking forwards. Give that a bit of a go. Walking backwards a bit. Maybe try your half turn on your two feet. Oh, doing a really good job everyone. Now for the really challenging bit, we're going to see if we can squat all the way down to the floor and then stand back up again, all right? So here we go, squatting all the way down. That's it, see if you can touch the floor with your hands and then see if you can stand back up again without dropping the book. Oh, good work. All right, this is the final book challenge. We're going to see if we can stand on one leg and keep the book balanced on our head. And if that's too easy, we're going to see if you can bend down to do a lunge onto your knees. And then you're going to try and stand up. Awesome, good work everyone. You can pop your book down now, make sure it's out of the way. Somewhere you're not going to trip over it when we do some of our other activities. For the next one, Grab your roll of toilet paper. Now, you can go on your hands and knees for this one in your angry cat shape. And then we're going to let our back sink just a little bit so what we've got a flat cat, okay? So it's not happy, it's not angry, it's just in the middle, all right? See if you can balance your toilet paper roll on your back. Now, we're going to lift one arm and the opposite leg and then come back down again all right then try the other arm so i'm lifting my right arm and my left leg trying to balance if that's too easy you can try and do it in your front support shape don't let that toilet paper roll fall off your back all right try to lift one arm and the opposite leg Good work. Did everyone manage to do it without dropping their toilet paper? I hope so. All right, for our next challenge, we're going to try and balance on one foot. So see if you can balance on one foot. You can have your arms out to the side or you can have them down. See if you can balance there. If that's too easy, Try doing it while you're moving your leg around. You can swing your leg forwards and backwards or around to the sides. See how long you can balance there. If that's still too easy, try and do it with your eyes closed. Or even I get a little bit wobbly with my eyes closed. See how long you can balance. You might like to challenge mum or dad or your brother and sister to see who can stay balanced for the longest. Make sure you give it a try on both legs. So one leg might be a bit easier than the other. Oh, a bit wobbly when I close my eyes. All right, good job everyone. Okay, for our next balancing challenge, you're going to need some wall space, okay? If you're wearing your runners like me, it might be a good idea to take them off for this one so that we don't put any marks on the walls. Okay, so I'm just going to take my runners off and we're going to do some balancing against the wall. So the first one, we're just going to do a front support shape. So you're going to put your feet on the wall like this in your front support shape. See if you can balance there. All right, excellent work. Give your wrists a little bit of a roll out in between. All right, the next one, make sure you're only doing this if you 
are able to do this. So if you haven't done this one at gymnastics yet, then you can just do your front support again. Okay, we're going to do 45 degrees handstand. Okay, so it's not all the way up straight, but it's a little bit higher than our front support. Okay, so you're going to put your feet up here and we're on a bit of an angle. And coming down again. Give your wrists a bit of a roll out. Now again, for this third one, if you haven't done this at gymnastics before, and especially if you don't have a very soft space to land on, then just do your front support with your feet on the wall again, okay? We need to be making sure we're being nice and safe when we're doing our home gymnastics training, okay? This one we're going to do a full handstand. So if you can, you can walk your feet up the wall, all the way into your handstand shape. And walking back down again. All right, we've got one more set of balances to have a go at today. For this one, you can keep your runners off because we're not doing any running or jumping on them today. We're going to do some hand balances, okay? So, the first one is going to be starting in front support, and then we're going to turn to the side. So we're doing our side support. Now I want you to see how high you can lift your hip off the floor, stretching your fingers really tall up to the roof, and making sure your legs are squeezing together. See how long you can hold this balance for. Remember to try both sides. So try both arms. See if you can hold on one arm longer than the other arm. All right. Now for our next arm balance, this one might look a little bit silly, but that's okay. We're going to do a froggy balance. All right. So you're going to squat down, have your hands on the floor, like this, all right, and see if you can balance on your elbows, all right, so like this, and see if you can balance with your hands on the floor, with your legs on your elbows. Finishing sitting on the floor. All right, I hope you enjoyed our balance challenges today. Remember to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can get more videos every week. See you next time. All right, so this video is going to be just a general cool down. So hopefully you've had a lot of fun doing your uh, general gymnastics at home workout today. So we're just going to do a couple of stretches just to finish off. All right, so just going to loosen up the shoulders. A few forwards, a few backwards. All right, a couple of arm circles. Just trying to slowly lower our heart rate, keeping the movement going as we settle ourselves down. Just some slight neck movements. Don't stretch yourself too far. And looking to each side. All right, we're going to do just a light twist. Loosening off our back after we've done all of that conditioning. All right, good. Give yourself just a bit of a shake out. Shake all your muscles, all your legs, arms, everything. All right, just a couple more stretches to finish off. We'll do a seal stretch. Good. You can put your head back for this one. Just relax into it a little. And our cat stretch, pushing our shoulders to the floor. Good. So you should feel your heart rate starting to go down now. Starting to cool down the muscles. Do a pike stretch. Stretch out those hamstrings. And a straddle stretch, reaching down the middle. 
Don't worry about stretching too far on these ones. But you might find, now that you're nice and warmed up, that you can stretch a little bit further than you did in the warm-up. We're going to do our butterfly. Use your elbows to push your knees down towards the floor. All right, and finishing off with just a little twist. To each side. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed all your workouts today and we're looking forward to seeing you again.